Hi guys. So, um, I fixed my computer. No more computer troubles. Um, I don't think I've mentioned this yet, but I have one of those, um, uh, not really a Max. Yeah, I, I bought the operating system. Hold on a second. There, uh, and I installed it on a regular PC, um, which it was going okay for about a year, but then I tried to update it and it didn't go so well. But now I have it up and running and updated and everything, so I can um, continue using it. It's awesome, by the way. Um, Next chance I get, I'm getting a real Mac Pro. They're really expensive though. Ah, uh, yeah. So, um, it's actually not against the um, license, if I read it correctly, because they uh, give you these handy little stickers with the operating system. I think I have one left. Um, these and um, the um, license just says it has to be marked. The, the actual case for the computer has to be marked with any Apple logo. So I did that and yeah. I'm sneaky. Anyways, uh, I continued on reading the book, but I only read it in the ferry, so I'm at page 115 in the second book. It's really exciting, um, but I haven't been working a lot this week, so I haven't gotten any further than 115, which brings me on to something uh, I wanted to talk about. Uh, have you guys ever read a book and known exactly what's going to happen? Like when you read a book after you've seen the movie, or in this case I read the books after I saw the first series. So I, in, the first in, in the first book I always knew what was going to happen next and was sort of reassuring I didn't tire myself uh, emotionally to uh, people I knew were going to die but the second book it's it's a lot harder to read and a lot more exciting when you don't know what's happening next so that's a thing and I was wondering have you ever like experienced that um, if so when I'd like to hear your sort of story about that. I feel like I'm rambling today. It's way past midnight and I really have no reason for why I recorded this late. I've been catching up on um, True Blood and eating a lot of candy, which is probably not what I should be doing considering my considerable stomach but it's been fun um, probably gonna do some of that tomorrow as well as well as um, do some drawing stuff yeah I'm back into the whole drawing thing I took a little bit of a break um, first it was exams and then I was traveling and then I was working uh, but now I've had time to do some drawing, and it's really fun. Uh, yeah, so uh, what are you guys doing this summer? I'm uh, just asking because I sort of said what I'm doing. I'm, I'm going to be drawing and working. Um, oh yeah, Mark and um, Adam, I actually... Uh, I, I don't think I told you this before, but my brother, uh, not my oldest brother, but the next two oldest, the second oldest, yeah, 
he um, just moved to Canada, Canada, about eight hours away from where you live, Adam. I don't know where you live, Mark, so um, I don't know how far away that is. Uh, but I've been told that plane tickets inside of Canada are really cheap. So if I ever go and visit my um, brother, I'll have a reason to come visit you guys as well. So that's that's exciting, I thought. Or maybe it's just creepy, I don't know. I kind of feel like I already know you guys, so it would be fun uh, to go get a coffee or something if I was in the same continent. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna go and I'm gonna do some light reading before bed. I know it's not on the ferry, but I just can't wait anymore. And, yeah. Megan, I'll see you tomorrow, I hope. Also, three days! Three!